Where is Tesla stock headed next? What is my exact price target and prediction? And how can you ultimately make money based on the material in this video? Let's find out the answer to these questions and ultimately answer, is Tesla headed to the moon or back down to earth? Let's get started. So let me just start off by saying in this video, I'm giving you my exact prediction for Tesla stock. You can love me or you can hate me for what I'm about to say. But the point is, we're not here to be your friend. We're here to make money. So if that suits your style, subscribe to this channel because we're going to be honest, transparent, and real here. Tesla prediction drop to 450 points within the next six months. And this could actually take place literally starting next week and going into the next 30 days. You obviously want to be a part of our coaching team, uh, or not our coaching team, but be one of our coaching members so I can actually help you trade this. But guys, this is going to be an, a you know, phenomenal trading opportunity. Uh, lots of money will be made. And so I'm going to do my best to break it down in this video and show you why Tesla will continue lower. So you can see Tesla stock is down 39% currently from the peak. A lot of people are looking at this as a buying opportunity. Tesla to the moon. Kathy Wood bought 69,000 shares yesterday. And so supposedly that's supposed to be bullish. Are you fucking kidding me? If anything, when t when Kathy Wood buys, I sell. You want to know why? Because Kathy Wood bought here. She bought here. She bought here. She bought here, 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 here. Okay, so trust me, that is the last reason you should ever want to be bullish on Tesla. Now, let's actually get into some of the bearish factors we can point out here uh, and, and just get into really what a lot of people are thinking. Right, A lot of people are thinking Tesla's a bargain. It's down 40%. Buy the dip. Imagine where it'll be in 10 years. Okay, little do they realize is they've been buying the dip just like Kathy would on the way down, and they're down so big that you know most of them are out of cash at this point, especially if you're a retail investor. Second, supposedly everyone's buying the dip, right? Well, think twice. Okay, look at this chart. It's very easy to see. Look at the volume here. Last dip, there was way more buyers coming in. Now look at this week. Okay, this is all the buyers that we had come into Tesla. So you can clearly see the volume discrepancy right here. Supposedly everyone's buying the dip. What you actually see is a 15% decrease in buyers this time around on this double bottom, which is supposed to be, once again, a bullish chart pattern, right? So everyone thinks it's bullish. Everyone thinks they're going to the moon. Buy the dip, buy the dip. And little do they realize you have a volume divergence at this level. You also have an RSI divergence, which if you don't know what that is, we go very in-depth in the course over this. You can see here uh, at this level, okay, you can actually see a clear RSI divergence where last time the RSI was over 50 okay now we're at the same exact level actually a little bit higher and the RSI is at 45 okay so what that tells you is at the exact same level Tesla stock is actually weaker this time around and we can obviously see that through the volume right so once again when you hear everyone's buying the dip look at the fucking charts nobody is buying the dip this time around so don't get it twisted for that reason, <laughs> this is not bullish. Now, let's talk about the best case scenario for Tesla, okay? What you could see is it bounce a little bit more. We do have a bullish indication in the MACD, which signals a conversion to the upside uh, in a temporary uptrend. But what you have to understand is the strength of this MACD signal. It's extremely weak. It's got a very low slope. And for that reason, whatever upward movement we may be receiving here in Tesla in the short term, it's going to be short-lived and it's going to be pretty weak in relation to the downward swings that we've been receiving. So once again, if all you do is listen to the news, the media, and some of the most popular YouTubers, right, they make it seem like they're buying the shit out of this dip. But once again, it's so easily proved. As long as you have two eyes and the ability to type in stockcharts.com, ticker symbol TSLA, you can clearly see just not nearly as much buyers coming in at this level this time around. And so think about it. Last time at this level, they bought the shit out of this dip and we still came back down. This time, barely anyone's buying that dip. So why should it go much higher than last time, right? So you already know that's a confirmation of downtrends. So you had this high right here followed by the lower high, and once again, with less buyers coming in here, we know that it's highly unlikely for this next leg up higher in Tesla to exceed this level because, once again, he had way more people buying it last time at this level. So why 
would it go higher this time on lower volume? That just doesn't make sense, okay? So once again, getting back to the point of a lot of people running out of cash, heck, if you're watching this video right now, you might be out of cash to buy Tesla at this point. You probably ran out of money buying the dip a long time ago. And so if that sounds like you, then you know I'm right about this, right? So combining just a couple technical facts, right? This is a fact that we have less buyers coming in at this level. It is a fact that according to the RSI, we are weaker at this level, right? That's literally just two indications. There's so many more things we could go over, right? But just literally two facts. You know, do you realize how much that puts you ahead of the game? Because 99% of people don't even look at a chart. They just follow the news and they wonder why they get crushed. If you can just understand how to read these charts, you're not going to have to rely on these news and you're not going to have to rely on Kathy Wood's dog shit calls, okay? So, boom, just off of that, I hope you can see some of the reasons we are bearish on Tesla still at this point. On top of that, you have basically a head right here and a shoulder right here. Now, you don't actually have a left shoulder here because the thing went parabolic, uh, but at the same time, this formation right here, which we also call a pyramid formation, is highly bearish when you go higher, run out of gas, and come right back down. Right, once again, it's the pyramid formation, highly bearish and very hard to recover from. Right, so when you combine these three factors, the RSI divergence, the volume divergence, and the pyramid formation, uh, you know, th those are some three just extremely strong indications uh, that for me are going to trump any Kathy Wood buy signal, any CNBC news. Okay, so those are facts. Now let's dive into some speculative reasoning here uh, that can't necessarily be proven but is worth mentioning. Uh, number four reason we're going over being bearish on Tesla in this video is because Bitcoin has officially crashed just as we predicted. Now obviously Tesla had a $1.5 billion position in Bitcoin and I think we can all agree when that thing crashes you know, over 50%, that's obviously not bullish for your position and considering the fact that a large portion of the profits last earnings quarter came from the profits they booked in Bitcoin that's obviously not a good sign it's going to be very hard for them to have a great quarter next quarter unless they sell a ton of cars or unless they surprise us and maybe they're actually collecting a bunch of profits up here in Bitcoin uh, but you know if you believe Elon Musk and once again I don't believe him necessarily but according to his tweet uh, you know Tesla has diamond hands and if that's the case then that's not fucking good. So I don't know why he would say that, but he did. So that's reason number four. Reason number five, rising interest rates. Now, we are expecting to see a pause in the 10-year yield temporarily, I think until about August. So since we don't expect any crazy moves in the 10-year right now, it's not necessarily too bearish. Uh, right now right but investors and the market are efficient they're going to think ahead and if the interest rates are going to continue to rise if people foresee uh, you know rising interest rates that's obviously not going to be good for the price of Tesla whether that interest rate spike happens later in the year in a year from now two years from now right that's all being priced into the price of Tesla so important to understand that so that's five reasons we're bearish on Tesla and why we believe it's going to drop to 450 Obviously, uh, keep an eye on this level here. 499 is where you could probably get some support. Uh, now, the time frame of this move, how soon can it happen? It could literally start as soon as this, you know, this coming week, depending on the market conditions. Uh, now, we do have reason to believe that the market could be getting very bearish here. Uh, but if you want more on that, make sure you subscribe to this channel so it can keep you up to date. Now, guys, don't get it twisted. Although we are bearish on Tesla right now, we will not shy away from being bullish when the time is right to be bullish. Now, a lot of you are new to the channel, so you probably didn't even know we called this Tesla crash here. You can literally go back and watch your video four months ago if you think I'm joking. We also called the Bitcoin and Ethereum crash in these three most recent videos. Check that out if you haven't already. The feedback was incredible, guys. Um, I had some amazing phone calls with some of you who said, you know, some of you say $500,000 because of the call we made on the channel. Some of you said 250000 I mean, once again, I had calls from all, all over the world even, right? Because, you know, crypto, you got people all over the world in this. And I had some guys saying they say 500000 200000 80000 50000 8000 I mean, everyone's got different account sizes. But to be able to get those calls... And people just were so happy on the phone and, and tell me that they bought back in at a lower price. Guys, that was incredible. Um, so once again, congratulations to everyone recently on this call that we made. 
It was awesome. And I'm so, so happy for everyone. Now, look, I know a lot of you, okay, probably saved a lot of money as well. And some of you probably didn't even leave a comment or schedule a call. But guys, that's the joy of this. That's why we do it. And so if you have any questions, uh, you can schedule a 20-minute call, especially if you now see our analysis and you, uh, you know, you're interested in trading and you see what I'm saying, but you're not exactly sure on when to pull the trigger, when to get in and when to get out. Or maybe you're busy at work, right? Maybe you have a day job and you can't actually trade this during the day. So you're wondering, okay, then how do I profit off of it? And you're not there to monitor your position on the screen, so you don't want to leave it. You feel a little nervous, right? Basically, you don't have the confidence to pull the trigger and actually profit on what we've shown you in this video. Once again, schedule a 20 minute call. We can walk you through it and also figure out what it is that you might need help with. Now, uh, guys, on this call, it is not to sell you on anything, okay? Uh, the only way we're going to sell you on anything is if you want to join our program. So, here, look, it literally says, if you're looking to join our coaching program, you don't need to fill out the questionnaire in detail. We'll discuss that instead, okay? But if you just need genuine help, then schedule that 20 minute call. Uh, okay, because once again, we're not trying to sell you shit on this call unless you want to join our program, which obviously we offer some incredible uh, paid services. But what you got to understand is, guys, of course, we have paid services, but we also give you so much for free. I mean, this training idea can make you so much money if you take advantage, pull the trigger. We've got some incredible predictions. Guys literally save 500000 and some guys save 200000 Some guys made you know 50000 Some guys bought back in lower, right? So, you know, what we give you for free is incredible. So I just hope you guys see what we're doing here. And uh, let me know if you need an updated video on Bitcoin and Ethereum. We can definitely do that. Uh, but changing it up here, talking about this Tesla drop and prediction we foresee. So that being said, guys, don't forget to drop a like on this video. Make sure you subscribe. Let's make some money on this prediction here. It's going to be beautiful. And once again, if you need help, uh, please feel free to reach out uh, through a phone call, through an email, or through the comment section down below. We're here to help you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Can't wait to talk to some of you, especially if you save like 500000 even 10000 I mean, I don't care how much you save because, once again, everyone's got different account sizes. But if our predictions and our calls that we made last week were able to help you guys, that's what I love to hear. So once again, shout out to all the guys I talked to this weekend and on Friday, you know, over all the money that was saved and made on our calls. Guys, that's why we do this, and that's all free material. So we provide insane value. We keep it real. And for that reason, you should be subscribed to this channel. And that being said, plenty more predictions and videos coming out soon. So let me know if you want that Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, updated video. And we can do that. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Alex. And we will see you on the next video. Take care. Let's talk soon. Bye.